people say that I'm teacher Nadine, and I'm like, I can't relate to that. I'm a lawyer. I sue people. <clears throat> How am I throw first? I haven't drank water. So, we have this. Don't worry about this. We'll do it later. So, when you get the talk, you need to know this before you actually answer it. It may be useless, but I guess you can use it. So we have this little problem right here. It's very much easy, just you know, 5 plus 4 equals 9. Yeah, so sorry. But these things are called the operands, or at least the numbers. With one operation for these, the plus signs, the plus sign subtraction signs, or at least plus, minus, divide, and, and multiply, these are called operations and the numbers are called operands, okay? Usually in one, you know, number, there's only two operands in one operation. But yeah, these are called operands. Usually they are, you know, for children's sake, for like, you know, grade one and grade two, there's only like these little bits. Now we have these. I have a uh, very light touch on like these bits. I realized that they made it home. Hey. So sorry. I don't have COVID. Okay. Now it's called a number sentence. I am not actually going to write it because you can't read my handwriting. So yeah. Usually for some people they or at least children, they're just like five plus six equals to their number and then just you know read this. But there's actually a way to have the right answer because if you just do that, you will have the wrong answer. So you need to do it correctly. For this, we need MDAS. Multiplication, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So that's why we should know. So what these bits are used for? Uh, I can at least draw a line there, but if you try to, like, you know, complete a number sentence, you can see, you know, there's a lot of op operations, like, you know, plus, divide, plus, times, subtract, divide, plus, you can exclude them, you can exclude, like, you know, the equal, because they're not actually equal in life. So, what you can do is use them. But if you don't have any, you know, multiplications, you have all the x's and divisions, these little bits, you can just use the plus. You can use addition right here and subtraction instead. So, how to solve this is very much very easy. And children can do it. And I'm just on grade 4 and I get taught by this. I'm way too young for this. How am I going to live? JK, JK, no worry about that. So what we need to do is you don't actually have to do this, but you need to like, you know, find these two. Uh, you know, these little bits right there. Now we have these. And now um, we have, even if it's the first one to pop out, don't worry about it, we actually need it. It's not useless in this round, but it's okay. It's okay. Indeed. Now we need to do it. 6 subtracted, I mean 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Now we just add 3 to the bottom part. If you are big brain, then don't do this part on the bottom because that will only waste your paper. And I'm wasting my board. But I have a wiper, which is just a mask, but I'm off point. So 6 times 2, I mean 8 times 2 equals 16, this is right, 16, 10 divided by 5 equals to 5, to 2, oh my god. Now that we have like, you know, the little answers right there, they won't be alone, they will have some new friends, because everything needs a friend. So 5. So we just, you know, copy these little bits right here, but do not put these to, you know, the ones that we had in, I, I mean had, down. 
So we just added the leftovers, the one that didn't have dinner. <laughs> Five, the plus. Don't bring these bits down. Ten, I mean plus, minus, plus, six. And then I'm an equal. Now this will be a little bit easy to us now. But if you're like, wait, wait. If you want to get caught in an infinite loop, then just do this, this, and this. But no. Now we actually start answering it. Don't worry, all your answers will be correct if you know that. So 5 plus 3, 5 plus 3 equals 8, right? 8 plus 16, which is I don't know. I'm so sorry, I'm very, I'm very nervous. Um, sorry about this, I have a thinking problem. 24, right? Oh, there we go. So 5 plus 3 equals to 8, plus 16 equals to 24, 24 minus 2 equals to 22, plus 6, plus 6 equals to, you know, 28. So, the answer here is 28. But if you want to want to get caught in an infinite loop, infinite loop, then just do this if you're a maniac. No, um, I think I'm ruining it. So yeah, that's how you do it. So if you find anything like this, you don't, you won't actually get the same thing, the same question like mine. This is made by my dad. He didn't tell me what the answer is. I just need to find out by myself. So yeah, that's what we get. So if you guys want to know what it is, it's called the MBAS or a number sentence there you go if you wanna you know stick to the yeast parts this is just one of my um you know, modules which is math i'm obsessed with math i love math i love mathematics it's the best it's the best the both worlds i think um yeah so we are done with our examples now you can you know do your thing do your do your thing you have a new lesson that you learned from a simple person like me. So, hopefully you guys will like this video. Leave a like and subscribe. And 